It's wonderful to be here. I am Margaret Lowe Smith. I'm, I'm president of Atlantic Live, which is the live events division of Atlantic Magazine. And I'm uh, delighted to welcome you to here to a series of programs where we've called Bold Bets. We've been across the country uh, covering issues on the future of everything from transportation to space exploration. Uh, and I think, as all of you know, today's topic is the future of manufacturing. Uh, manufacturing has had an incredibly tumultuous decade with massive changes in how we make things and what we make, but it clearly remains critically important to our future uh, across the globe and here at home in terms of uh, innovation and competitiveness, and that's what we're here to talk about today. How manufacturing will evolve in the coming years and how we should prepare the next generation workforce to fill the newly digitized workplace. So I do want to thank our underwriter Siemens for making our gathering this afternoon possible. And it is a pleasure to introduce Eric Spiegel. He's the president and chief executive, uh, chief executive officer of Siemens USA to say a few words. Eric. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I'm the welcome talk. So uh, welcome everybody here today. Uh, like I said, I'm the uh, CEO for Siemens here in the US. And I want to talk just, just briefly about what we're here to do today, and also a little bit about Siemens here in Chicagoland. I'd also like to welcome uh, Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel and thank him for his commitment to STEM education in Chicago and how he's helping to prepare our young people for the future. But today, uh, we're going to explore the impact of technology and the shift to a more digital economy and what impact that's going to have on the next generation of the workforce and really the responsibility for companies like Siemens, uh, educators, and government officials to address those needs today and really to prepare people for the future. Uh, so why is this important to Siemens? Uh, because Siemens is a leader in a digital industrial world. We are not just one of the world's largest hardware companies. Everyone knows about all the things that we make, but we're also one of the biggest, thank you. We're also one of the biggest software companies so in today's digital economy, no matter what business you're in, software is really at the heart of it. From trains to generators to wind turbines to medical imaging to building technologies, all of our products use software in their operations. Our customers also use our software to design and engineer and manufacture some of the most advanced technologies in the world, including cars, rockets, wind turbines, high-speed trains, CT scanners, and even golf clubs. We also use our technology to partner with cities like Chicago, as well as major campuses, hospitals, plants, data centers, and even military bases to help them achieve better energy efficiency, productivity, and safety. And many of those advanced building technologies are developed in our nearby Buffalo Grove facilities. We also manufacture the world's most advanced molecular imaging technologies out here in Hoffman Estates. Siemens is proud to be part of the local fabric of the communities in all 50 states, providing jobs to more than 50,000 Americans, but with more than 3,200 employees here in Chicagoland, this is a place we like to call one of our largest homes. We collaborate with almost every Chicago City agency in various ways, from reducing energy consumption to more efficient movement of water and wastewater, from smart buildings to intelligent transportation systems. This August, we supported Mayor Emanuel's commitment to preparing the next generation for college and career demands by partnering in a STEM program with Chicago's public high schools to offer students real-world engineering opportunities. Siemens is also a founding partner and software provider, Chicago's UI Labs Digital Manufacturing and Design Innovation Institute. And this past spring, Siemens expanded its partnership with UI Labs, forming a consortium that develops the latest technologies for the urban, urban infrastructure. Siemens, also, Siemens is also a major supplier to Commonwealth Edison on a wide variety of electrical equipment. And we're also providing our advanced medical imaging and diagnostics technologies to most of the area's top hospitals. So in closing, meeting the challenges of the future starts with actions and partnerships that the public and private sectors today take on. Collectively, we must foster a culture of innovation and dedicate ourselves to providing the education and training necessary. I look forward to the conversation we're gonna have here today. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much, Eric. And a few very, very practical notes before we get started. First, we are on Twitter at Atlantic underscore live. You can join the conversation using the hashtag boldbets. We're streaming at atlantic.com slash live, and we will take your questions after each session, so don't be shy. I'm sure you won't. Uh, now let's get rolling. To kick us off, I am delighted to introduce the mayor of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel, to talk about the role of a big city ma mayor in manufacturing. And my colleague Steve Clemens, Washington editor-at-large for The Atlantic, is here to lead us through all our conversations today. Steve, mayor, take it away. <laughs> 